Hello everyone. In this video, we would like to share with you how to print this aluminum water bottle. Okay. Firstly, for aluminum water bottle, we have three sizes, which is 400 millimeter, 500 millimeter, and 600 millimeter. And we have two colors, which is silver and white. And also we have other colors, but silver and white is always the most suitable color. And the most suitable size is 500 millimeter which will be the one we will show you how to do the printing today. So firstly, you need to get ready for your printing, okay? The tips number one is that, you see, the cap is plastic. So you need to take this cap out. Because aluminum is easy, it's, it's not an isolated material, right? If this part be heated and this part will be melt. So number one tips is you need to take out or take off these caps okay let's move into the printing demo so what you need to prepare is printed paper by templates we have templates ready if you need it just contact ourselves blanks clean cloth and heat protective glove heat resistant tape okay before we're going to do the printing the most important part is to set the pressure in a proper way so firstly and also very, very important is you need to set it before printing, it means that uh, the machine is cooling down before you turn on the machine and before you do the printing preparation. So the first thing we need to do is get the blank water bottle ready and to, to set the pressure, okay? So today we're going to use our Galaxy Tumblr Press and let me show you how to set the pressure, okay? So firstly, you insert this top water bottle into the middle of the heating element and then you use your hand to close and you can see now it's a firstly this is not at the it's live it's not leveled so the mo the first thing is that i need to make sure it's leveled okay now it's good okay and i close it you see and um, then it's easy to it's not easy to move <laughs> so it's not easy to move that means that the pressure is okay but if we have less pressure maybe okay. push and lock if it's less pressure then you're easy to move that means that the pressure is too less so we need to increase the pressure release it Pull it a little bit in, lock it, make it leveled, and then it still can move, right? So I need to add, add pressure a little bit more. Add the pressure a little bit more, and it's leveled. Okay, and it's leveled, right? So I close it. Now I think it's more or less ready to go. Firstly, you can see I can use two fingers to close it. That means that pressure is not so high. So high. And secondly, if you use your, your hand to try to push it, it's, it's not easy to push. Only if you push it really hard, then it can push. That means that the pressure is right. Yeah, so why we cannot use very high pressure for this uh, aluminum water bottle is that you see it's a single layer and it's Aluminum is a softer material compared with uh, stainless steel. So if you use really high pressure, so let's say if we use really, really high pressure at the end, you may ruin your tumbler. You see, let's say, oh, it's really high, right? And then, so ours is, is okay. It's not uh, change the shape. But for most of the, the one in the market, if you use too high pressure, that might be make the, the water bottle change their shape. Okay, so last, let me show you one more time. What would be the proper uh, pressure? Okay, that means that you use two finger to close it and then you use your finger to try to push it. It's not easy to push it. That means that pressure is good enough. And uh, now we're ready to turn on the press and to get ready for printing. Okay, so first 
you use this cleaning cloth to clean the surface to make sure that the surface is nice and tidy. Okay, we, we also have this cleaning cloth. If you need it, you just contact ourselves. Okay, next, wrap the paper with heat resistant tape. So today we're going to use this kind of type. It's so cute. And uh, you see, because the, the design is transparent background. So that's why you can see we do not, uh, um, there is a seam here, but it doesn't matter. It will not affect the printing result. So that's uh, for design wise, I think this is a tips for this kind of, uh, uh, if you want to do full printing, I mean the full like this. So the better is we use this transparent design maybe, maybe instead of solid color design. Because if you have a solid, solid color design, after printing, you will easily get a seam here. Okay, so let's move into the printing. Okay, now the tumbler press is ready and let's do the printing. So that is a tips that, um, because this is a full printing, right? Normally, if you put it into, so we will do two times printing, one, one time, and then you need to do the rotation for another side. So, and he always puts the heat tape this side in front. Then that will be e more easier for you to find whether you've been rotated 180 degrees for the second printing. Okay, like this. Now you're ready to go. Okay, first print is ready. And let's turn for 180. So it will be more easier for you to see. So after you rotate it, you need to wait the temperature drop to 170 degrees. And then you close for another print, for second print. So this is very, very important. Not immediately to close the handle, but with the temperature drop from 175 to 170, and then close the handle, okay? Now let's wait for another, maybe a minute, then the printing will be done. Time is up, let's see. Take it out and how the printing quality, it's really hot. So a heat glove is really important to protect yourself. Okay, let's see how the printing result it will be, okay. Every angle prints really well. So this kind of design is really good for full printing. Okay, that's all for today's video and hope you understand better. And uh, if you have any tips or suggestions of doing the printing or any tips and suggestions about developing new products for Subvention, please do not hesitate to leave message below and we're always willing to li listen, okay? And hope you understand better about how to print this water bottle today. And thank you for watching. See you next time.